welcome back if you're new here welcome my name is Aya and today I'm gonna show you how I freeze potatoes so uh, for today's video I'm gonna show you how I freeze it like slices how I do wedges with skin on how I do whole potatoes because I use that a lot for my recipes I'm gonna show you how to do that So the first thing we're gonna do is fill out a large pot of water and let it boil while we get the potatoes ready. For the potatoes there is two options and this is really up to you. So you can either keep the skin on or take off the skin but make sure you wash it very well especially if you keep the skin on and make sure you brush it good and let it soak for a couple minutes in clean water before you cut it. For the first part of this video, I'm going to show you how to cut it different ways depending on how you're going to cook your potatoes and also I'm going to show you a different technique to have a perfect wedges and easy cutting and all that. So for the first batch, this is going to be more like mashed potato style, but also cooking. Sometimes we like to cook with potatoes like that. My husband is Jamaican. There is lots of recipes with potato like that. I'm Tunisian. We also have a lot of recipes using potatoes this way. So this is really uh, depend on how you cook, but this can be very easy for mashed potatoes. I beat it off and I just cut it. Now I'm going to show you how to make perfect wedges with small potatoes. I'm going to show you after when to do it with the big potatoes. Here you take the potato and you cut it in half and then just follow the steps to see how you cut the wedges. So for the wedges, we prefer keeping the skin on. This is really, as I said, up to you. You want to keep it on and take it off. Now I'm going to show you a different way of doing the wedges. You cut the bottom. Make sure you don't throw that away because you can keep it for the mashed potato bag. And then we are going to use this tool that usually uh, we usually use for apple. And then that's what you do. So you have all the wedges the same size, all look alike and it took you two seconds to do that. Now when it comes to the middle part, you can either um, keep it in the same bag, just cut it like that in the middle, or throw it in the mashed potato bag. That's fine too. Now I'm gonna show you with the big potato. So you do the same steps, you cut the bottom and make sure it's straight. This is, will help you to cut it later. And then we're gonna use the same tool, the one that we usually use for the apple, and just follow the steps. As you can see now, we have big, long wedges. To be honest, this is not what we use in our house. It's just for you to show you the video in case you need it. But this is very good for casserole or stuff like that. And the middle part, of course, the same thing. You can either cut it in half or add it to the mashed potato bag. Now I'm gonna show you how to cook it. I mean, technically it's not really cooking, it's, we call it blanch it. So that mean you're gonna boil the water. Once the water is boiling, you're gonna throw the potatoes there, let it boil for five minutes, and then take it off and put it in ice cold water. You wanna make sure that there is ice in the water. It's gonna be very cold and this gonna stop the cooking process. So do not freeze your potatoes raw because they're going to turn brown. They're not going to they're not going to cook correctly when you want to cook it and this is really easy to do. I know it look like it's a lot of work, but trust me you do this once like every 4 or 5 or 6 months and then you could you go for 6 months you have potatoes ready, no peeling, no cutting, nothing. You just take the bag and just throw it in the pot or in the oven. So once the potatoes are cold, I drain it very well and then I place it in a clean towel and let it sit like that for a couple minutes and I do that with a whole potato too. So here we want it to dry before we freeze it because we don't want it to be soaking wet when we freeze it. Okay, now I prepare my baking sheet. Before you start anything, make sure that the baking sheet fit in the freezer and your baking sheet must be non-stick. If your baking sheet is not non-stick, just use a parchment paper. Place the potatoes there and make sure to separate the potatoes. Don't let it stick to each other because if you freeze it when it's uh, touching each other, it will stick. And this is the result after staying in a freezer for six hours or overnight. 
As you can see, it didn't change color a whole shape. And put everything in a Ziploc bag. Make sure you write the date on it and what kind of potatoes you have there. If you want them like meal plan, you can say this is going to go for uh, mashed potatoes or wherever you know what you want to cook. And that's it. This is all what I did today. I hope today's video was helpful, guys. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and see you in the next video.